All right. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the stream. My name is Zach Aguilar, the voice actor for Ether. And today I am joined by the voice of Ayato, Chris Hackney. Woo! Woo! Yo, Chris. I'm here. I'm here. He's here. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do all of the talking so you have to do less of it, dude. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I appreciate it. Um if you guys can't tell, uh the past two days <laughs> I have lost my voice. Um I have I have wind bladed too much. I I went back through the entire Genshin game and I thought it would be a great idea to voice all of Paimon's lines in a Paimon beta voice. So I lost my voice doing the beta voice um that's not really what happened but uh but that's yeah what you did for like our our entire uh uh, uh the special program you were like dying to get your paimon in there so that's right i was like paimon's not emergency food <laughs> that's the best i could do um dude thank you so much for coming on the stream today uh if you wouldn't mind it would be awesome if you could like just introduce yourself to the viewers and tell them kind of like what else you've worked on besides besides playing Ayato and Genshin. So, uh, thanks for having me, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, hi, guys. If you don't know who I am, uh, my name's Chris Hackney. And yeah, I'm the voice of Kamisato Ayato in Genshin. Um, but uh, you might know me from Fire Emblem Three Houses. I play Dimitri Alexandra Blathed. Um, uh, animes like uh, Bungo Stray Dogs. I play Francis Fitzgerald. Hunter Hunter. I play Illumi. Um, and a bunch of other stuff that I, it's on IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sit here like, like, like this is and this and this and this, <laughs> no. and this. Dude, I know you've done so much. You've done so much stuff. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> you're also in, uh, 13 Sentinels, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude. 13 Sentinels, Juro. I'm Juro. Yeah. Juro Karate. That was a cool game. I'm so, I'm so excited for those guys. Uh, yeah. I, I gotta I I never completed that game, but I gotta go back through it and it's it's so funny. Like I've got it. Uh I bought the collector's edition one on uh on PlayStation 4 and now it's coming out on the Switch and I'm like, mm, kinda think I need to get the Switch version too. So I know. That's that's me, especially with all the traveling I'm, I'm doing. I'm like, I have to I gotta do it. That's the best time when I'm on the plane and I uh <laughs> That's the am... only time I have to play, man. Like I've, yeah. I've, I've almost beaten uh, Pearl on the Switch because, like, the last no way. Week, this oh. past weekend when I was at a convention, like being at the airport and on the plane and stuff. That's the only time I've got to play. Yeah, no, that's so crazy because uh, because I actually need to um, I need to what's it called? I need to play through Diamond. I I never finished it too. Um, oh. and, and I'm one of those people when I'm flying on the airplane, I absolutely hate, uh, buying Wi-Fi. I can't do it. I can never bring myself to do it. Like the, yep. the 15, 20, $30, whatever it is. I'm like, this is ridiculous for like a couple hours. This is yeah, not worth like it. A, like a two or three hour flight, you know? No. Yeah. It's so dumb. Uh, and, and then you fly certain airlines like JetBlue, I think, or I, I don't know who it is, but they give you free Wi-Fi and yeah. it feels like. This is where I was meant to be. Yeah, no, I, I'll, I'll fly on whatever will have me. But like, um, I like I flew American this past weekend, and that was pretty good. Uh, Delta's good, but I need to, I need to start upgrading myself to like the first class. There you go. <laughs> I need. It's just the, it's just the leg room, man. I need the leg room. Fly the fancy life. They'll, they'll <laughs> serve you a little, a little meal up there. They'll be like, sir, would you like a, would you like um a, a sandwich that we'll throw in the microwave? It might be very greasy. Uh, oh, would you, would you like some free alcohol? And they then, don't serve you alcohol. You're like, you're like twelve. That's come on. No, they, not me, but for you, they definitely would. Oh yeah, look at me. Like, <laughs> you look like a whiskey man. There's a whiskey. <laughs> I'll take a. Uh, it's like when people ask me, they're like, "What? What do you? What would you like to drink, young whippersnapper?" And I'm like, "Uh, uh Chuck, chalky milk, please." I'm like, chalky a, milk." I'm like, "A uh, what's the one drink I've had? A uh, rum and coke, I think." <laughs> I'm like, "Is that cool?" And then they just look at you like you're some kind of peasant. Like, what the hell? What's wrong with this kid? <laughs> like scotch, Nate. 
That's what you need to tell them. They're like, you don't want some of our fancy bourbon? Um, hey, I'm just saying, from what I understand, when you're like 30,000 feet up in the air, I'm, I'm told it hits you kind of hard, so. Oh, yeah. No, I think it, I think it does. Not that I would know. Um, I, I <laughs> um, genuinely, I wouldn't know. Like, I, I don't drink much, and I don't, uh, I don't do it on a plane faux show. N- no, I feel, I feel kind of sick on airplanes all the time. I never feel like I would want to drink alcohol. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I don't know. I just like feel queasy or something. Um, After all the flying that you do, and you still feel queasy. I know. <laughs> That's just me. I am. Uh, always dying um (laughs) uh what else is i gonna say that reminds me you were in this little show i just i want to go off on it because i I remember this was the first thing actually that i had ever heard you in um and you absolutely killed it it was uh that one anime called a lull in the sea how do you know asakara yeah 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 that was a that was like such a cool show in my opinion like i absolutely loved it um, oh the show's gorgeous and that was like that was the first time i ever got to be uh, a, a lead character because that was um that was uh max was the lead yeah. was the male lead and bryce was the other male lead and then me and then that was um brianna knickerbocker right who was like my love interest and then um That's... michelle michelle ruff was uh the other one Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, like Brianna, Max, you. I'm like, what the heck? Everybody's in Genshin. <laughs> that's awesome. And now everybody's in Genshin. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool how that like all kind of uh how that all kind of comes around. Um, especially now, like looking back on the projects and stuff that I've worked on a long time ago, realizing like what me and my friends have accomplished since then has been insane. Yeah. Like it is the it is the voiceover dream. And I mean, speaking of the voiceover dream, dude, you got to tell me as I, as I roll, I'm going to do like a couple 10 pulls for Ayato, see if I can get him here. You got to okay. tell me what, what, what inspired this, like for you to pursue voiceover, like the very beginning, what take us back to, to the golden days. <laughs> back in my day. <laughs> um, honestly, okay, hold on. I want to watch this poll and see what happens. No, nope. Yeah, no, nah, not today. They're not, I swear, there's no way. I, <laughs> I, I spent like $200 uh, to get this amount of Primo gems, and there is no way I'm going to get um, him. Oh, dude, you failed hard. Actually, I got a funny story to, to tell really quick. Okay, yeah, we didn't, we didn't get him. <laughs> not um, again. Not yet, but... Uh, I was at a, I was doing a store signing this weekend, um, and I was losing my voice during the store yeah. signing. That's when like, er, like my voice kind of started to die after working so much <clears throat> and talking so much. Uh, my larynx is inflamed right now. Uh, that's why I sound like this, everybody. Don't worry, I'm on the road to recovery. Like a day ago, yeah, no, I should. Um, but a day ago, I couldn't even like make a sound. So today. I know I'm tomorrow I'll probably wake up and sound a lot better. Um, but what I was going to say is uh, somebody came up to me in line. I don't know if you're watching this, you wonderful person. Uh, they came up to me in line. And they said, can you do a 10 pull for me? And, <laughs> and like pulled out their phone, just ready for me to do a 10 pull on um, Ayato's banner. Yeah. And so... I, people do that to me sometimes at conventions and I absolutely love doing it. Uh, and I will say the same thing to you guys always. If you have me do it, I will tell you I have the worst luck ever, uh, d- which is half true. Um, 50, 50, uh, f- like for everybody, I pulled, I, I clicked it and I got a five star. I, I like nice. literally like you see the, the star moving and it goes gold and I freak the hell out. I'm like, holy crap, dude. I get up. I'm doing a dance. I'm like, hell yeah. Woo-hoo! And everybody in my line is like, what? what? What the hell? What happened? What is he doing? And, um, <laughs> and I'm like freaking out. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And I'm like, oh, wait, the 50-50, right? We got to see if we, we got to see if we got Ayato. So I was like clicking through and I'm like, oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. And this person's like, oh, please, 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 please. Yeah, this is it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this worked. Zach, your luck is is amazing. And before I flip, before I, before I uh, 
you know, click the thing. I said, flip the switch. I like screamed it. I was like, flip the switch. And then I made a joke. I'm like, yeah, it takes like five minutes for it to get to China. So we got to wait like five minutes for that, for my saying <laughs> to go to Mihoyo HQ and come back. Um, <laughs> so I did it. Perfect time flipping through it. And long story short, it was D Luke. Um, rest in peace. Uh, saddest oh. moment. P, dude. saddest moment uh, of my life i was so hyped and that person um, in my line was super hyped they were like freaking out i was freaking out i'm like it's this has never worked for me i have never pulled for somebody in my line and actually got a five star uh but yeah it was just it's it's, it's so funny so like uh like we like we were before the reason we were late guys is because we were like man I, we haven't talked in a while we were talking beforehand so behind the behind the scenes baseball there um, behind the scenes baseball <laughs> But like, so like I had this convention um, over the weekend in um, Tennessee and people did the exact same thing to me too. I think I, I think I pulled for like five or six people and, and the last person that asked me to pull like on, on Sunday, like I, but before I left, I was like, I told them everybody, I told them, I'm like my RNG, like RNG hates me. I'm sorry, but I did it. <laughs> and sure enough, I got the Mayato yeah. like, in their, in their one ten pull. Yeah, no, my, uh, my RNG has has never been never been amazing. Or well, I, I guess I can't say that. Um, because on the old banner I got the staff of Homa, like in eight poles, like before they changed it, guys. You, you are those of you watching, you already know how crazy that was. That was insane. And at the time I didn't know how the banner polls worked. I've just kinda like freaked out about it. Um hmm. but yeah. Uh yeah. dude, oh yeah, so I was asking you. What got you started in this whole voiceover journey? You gotta, um, you gotta tell us. How did this all start? Uh, it's it's gonna sound weird or dumb. Come on, come on. I see that pull. Nah, no, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I wish. Um, so it was. Oh, I love that sword. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I have that on my ether actually. You do. Oh my yeah, gosh. The, the, the one with the the music note sword. I forget what it's called. You chose the ether. Heck yeah. yeah. I, yes. I love how um, there's always some kind of like strong debate between like which win you chose. And I don't, I don't know if you guys like watching here know this, but I genuinely like from the bottom of my heart, I don't know how the nicest way I can say this, I do not care which one you chose. I, like for real, I seriously do not care <laughs> if you chose <laughs> Ether or Lumine. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this now is because, dude, I just want people to stop arguing about it. I see everybody's yeah. always arguing, like, you chose Ether. I think Lumine is this way. But I'm like, guys, like, just enjoy the game. Like, it does not yeah. matter. It's not that deep. Like, there's no, like, there's, there's plenty of other things to worry about in the world. Like, I literally I, could not care less. Um, and if you chose Ether, guess what? You get to hear me go, huh, huh, Windblade. Like, you get to hear that. If you didn't choose Ether, guess what? You get to hear my epic abyss lines. Like, it's a win-win for me either way, brother. Like, I do not care. Um, <laughs> so that's all I got to say. Wh whoever you chose, you know, love to both of the characters. I, and and Sarah Miller Cruz, like, that girl who plays Lumine, she is, like, literally my sister. I'm an only child. She's one of the nicest people I've ever met. I've called her on the phone and asked her random things. And like, just, she's always there for me. Like, I, 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 I don't know what else to say. Like, I have no sort of way between each character, their voice actor. It doesn't matter. Everybody's awesome. Love each other. Enjoy the game. Stop being weird about it. Um, exactly. And, sorry, dude. You uh, were saying, I keep going off on a tangent. No, no. Uh, go ahead. Please tell us. That's your... for sure. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to go off on a slightly, <laughs> on another tangent before I even answer again. Um <laughs> Uh, but like, 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 it's the same thing with, um, you know, with, with three houses. Cause like, I'll always say, you know, Demi Leth to me is canon and they're like Boyleth or Byleth. And I'm like, they're the same. It doesn't matter. I don't care which one I get that one of them, you can do it in the game and the other, you can't, yeah. but it's all the same to me. So whatever. Exactly. Um, but Come okay. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like, uh, so for me, uh, with with voiceover, honestly, it was like a total accident. Um, I know maybe that's like dumb or weird to hear, 
Uh, like I always thought voiceover was cool. Like as a kid, like growing up watching uh, like Transformers and GI Joe, yeah. like I knew that, that like here I could hear people and like, wait, that's the same guy from the other thing that I like. And like, Oh, that's like people actually doing the cartoons and stuff and like that. That was like a cool realization when I was a kid. Um, but it wasn't till I was in college when um, I was going to college for music to be a, I wanted to be a music, a musician as far as like a performer, but uh, I'm a saxophonist and my, so my saxophone professor was like, yeah, no one cares about saxophone performance. You're going to be a teacher. And I'm like, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, that's okay. I guess I'll be a teacher because that's what I do is I just go along with whatever people tell me. Yeah. Um, and, but I didn't want to teach. So like I was looking for other outlets to do stuff like for, for my creative, my creative side. And, um, I happen to be online. I used to be on this website called Gaia online. No uh, way. Yeah. I Gaia. Was, uh, Wait yeah, a sec. I was, what? I was on Gaia back in the day. I'm OG Gaia. So like Gaia started in like 2005. Yeah. I like, I think it's the, like the website went online at like March of 2005. I think it was. And I joined in August of 2005. Like that's how old school Gaia I am. Yeah. Um, but so like I was on there and I, and like, I, I started making like these funny, uh, that's my kids in the background. Um, <laughs> I, I started making these funny, like, like voice videos and stuff on there. And my buddy was like, um, like, dude, if you're like into like the voice thing, you know, there's this website where you can do like, like, um, uh, uh, voiceover online on this, on this forum. And I'm like, Oh, well, that'd be cool. Yeah. Link me to it. So I linked me to the voice acting Alliance. And, uh, and I, I went on there and I just like started auditioning for stuff. Yeah. And, and then, um, like I never like intending it, I just intending it for it to be a fun thing because like at the time I was still living in Florida with, uh, with my, with my ex-wife and she was from LA originally. And, um, eventually she was like, you know, uh, I hate Florida, so <laughs> I want to move back to LA and me being the go with the flow guy i'm like okay well i guess we're i guess we're going to la and then i got to la was still doing voiceover for fun and then i figured out that maybe i could turn it into a career yeah and that it just happened from there like it was total uh total accident and i started taking more classes and you know i met up with the people that i knew online like um like laura post and and uh and lucian dodge and, and erica mendez and like like lucian erica and i and and mark allen jr we we all used to live together for a little while really um, oh wow yeah. so that's so so uh, just uh taking it back to like the old voice acting lions days because funny enough even though i am you know on the younger side i was on there as well um oh man i i experienced all of it they don't think I know about the dark days. I know the dark days. <laughs> oh, I've seen it all. Uh, but no, that's so cool. That's interesting, though. Please uh, continue. Like that's so you got to meet up with them after like you had met them online. Yeah, because like um, like Laura and I, 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 I knew Laura from the Voice Acting Alliance, and then uh, she was the lead character in this uh, this radio play. That was the first thing I ever booked on the VAA called uh, Genesis Avalon. Yeah. And so um, uh, after my, my ex and I, we split, uh, we had like a meetup here in LA for all of the people for that, that do those uh, uh, radio plays from Pendant Audio. So we had a meetup and I got to hang out with, with Laura and um, like the, the, the creator, Kat, and a bunch of other people from Pendant. And it was, it was great. Like I started spending more time with, with VO people at that point. And I'm like, well, you know, I have this time now to myself i never really had before let's try and see what i can do so like i talked to laura started taking more voiceover classes um yeah. i ended up you know and it just kind of went from there that's why i said like it's totally by accident it wasn't something that i was like uh like i ever like i'm gonna be a voice actor one day i never even thought of that i just i wanted to perform and it was i started doing voiceover because i was looking for some some other way to perform that wasn't that was outside of me being in, uh, in music school. Wow. So. That's, that's so interesting because, um, 
I, that's just so funny to hear. Like, <laughs> I, I, I come, to, I have to imagine, like, what if I had cross paths with you on the voice acting alliance, but uh, you had no idea because I was, uh, yeah. I was one Honestly. of those trolls that would uh, troll Erica on Roblox. And, uh, <laughs> oh, you were one of the ones she kept complaining about when she was. <laughs> I was the one of the ones uh, giving her <laughs> major anxiety at night um, <laughs> because she could not deal with how big of a rascal I was. Um, no, it's it's so funny ju just to hear that. But like, I, I don't know. I think talking about like the voice acting alliance for those of you guys who aren't familiar, the best way to. Uh, explain the voice acting alliance is that it was kind of like an online like an online forum where people could like post casting calls for voiceover stuff and, and audition for things there are a lot of like fan projects on there and like i think sometimes you'd come across like an original thing here or there and half of the stuff you would audition for would never come out because the people who were making it were too lazy to uh to make it at least that was my experience um <laughs> it's so funny it's so funny because like half the stuff yeah like you said half the stuff wouldn't come out but then honestly like most of the stuff that i was in that did come out i thought it was it was fantastic and I was, i'm still proud of it i mean we don't talk about some of the things that we were no we never do working um, on back in the day <laughs> but i'm still genuinely genuinely like the people i worked with and um and on on that stuff i thought i still think it's it's really cool it's funny because like um like last year I went to a con and uh oh there's the guy. Uh <laughs> level one sadly. Uh I oh, need to level sucks. I need to level her. I wonder if I can play Genshin on an airplane. That's what <laughs> I need to figure out. Yeah, um, if you pay for the thirty dollar Wi Fi. Oh, that sucks. Uh please <laughs> Mihoyo, sponsor me and play for pay for my uh, airplane Wi Fi. Please and thank you. Um, but like, so I, at a at a con appearance last year, I um the other guest with me was uh Emmy Lowe, who's a who, who's another voice artist from uh, from Texas? Yeah, and we we got talking because I'd, I'd never met them in uh, in person in real life, and we started talking, and like the VAA came up, and they're like, "Oh yeah, like I was on there, I was this person." I'm like, "Wait, you were? We were in stuff together." And we started talking, <laughs> so like I've technically actually known Emmy for like ten years. Wow, and I just didn't realize it. So that was that was just like a really cool thing. I think this is, it's very, this is so humbling to talk about because like this is, this is literally like the beginning, beginning of voiceover for a lot of people. I think that are currently working in the industry, um, uh, just going to like an online forum with a microphone and auditioning for stuff just off the bat. I think that's how a lot of people still nowadays audition for stuff. They were using like the, that, what's it called? Like casting call club or something. Yeah. Um, or uh, I think there's well, another uh, the pro boards. Kira, Kira Buckland still has um, voice she has acting like club. Disc, yeah. Yeah. The, she runs the Discord server and everything that does all of that stuff. And it's uh, and what's what's insane about that is um, for those of you who are thinking about looking into voice acting, people ask me all the time. I cannot tell you how many times I get asked like, how do I become a voice actor? That is probably one of the best things you can do is go out, buy a microphone. It's like 50, go buy a 50 to $100 microphone. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just buy like a USB microphone to get started um, and just start auditioning for things and reading for projects on some of these websites like the Voice Acting Club because it gives you a lot of practice and kind of like helps you, I don't know, It it's sort of like, uh, it just kind of helps you curate that a rhythm of what it takes to be a voice actor, like sending in a nice email with an audition attached, thanking them for their time. Um, and I, and uh, it, it, it gets you like practicing and stuff. Cause that's, that's the thing, like with anything in order to get better at it, you've got to learn and you've got to practice. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I'd also, uh, I always like people, I, you know, we all, we always all, we all get the same question, like at an appearance or whatever, or online. And I always also tell people go to um, uh, D Bradley Baker's website. I want to be a voice actor dot com. Yes, which... yes, it's so good. And I don't know why, but I've seen like some people online memeing about it. Like, oh, they're probably just going to tell you to go to I want to be a voice actor dot com. Uh, like, yeah, like, there's a reason. <laughs> there's like, a reason why. <laughs> like, genuinely, if you are willing to put in the work, because 
you're not going to get anywhere in this industry if you don't want to put in the work. If you're willing, go online, go read everything on the website, and it's on there. If you have a question about how do I work with a studio, that answer is on there. How do you? How do I get an agent? That answer is on there. Do I need to live in California, Texas, New York? That answer is on there. Like there's an answer for every question that you could probably think of, and it's on this website. I want to be a voice actor, but I think a lot of people just assume there's some kind of shortcut or like way to get into the industry. And, and there isn't like, you have to kind of build a, a professional reputation for yourself. Like you have to build that on your own. It's not just going to magically appear for you one day. You got to yeah. slowly work your way up, like work on some small projects. Maybe you'll work with a director that really likes you. You're very polite, easy to work with, efficient, and they'll recommend you to a bigger project. Maybe you'll work with a new studio. And then another studio will see, wow, you worked on that huge, like that huge game with Sony or some other X, Y, Z big company. Like, man, that means you should probably work on our, our game. Oh, this game's for Warner brothers. Then maybe you'll get an audition for that. And then like, I don't know how to explain it at all, but yeah. <laughs> you know what there's, I mean? Uh, well, here's, here's the, here's the thing though. Like that's all, that's, that's really good. And it's all true and fantastic insight. And honestly, like, that might not that might not be the case for somebody else either because nobody's journey is exactly the same too that's another great thing to point out like there is no like here's step one here's step two here's step three boom you've got profit that it's it's different for everybody exactly yeah. some yeah. people like you know just like like for me i know i know tons of people who like their thing was i want to be a voice actor i want to be a voice actor so they like from as young as they could started doing like theater and taking more acting classes and all this doing all this stuff. And, but like, for me, like I said, I just kind of, I fell into it and then I did all of the work after the fact. Yeah. So like there, there is no one right way. There is no one wrong way. Uh, the only thing I would say about hmm. as far as a wrong way is just, uh, don't be a dick. <laughs> that is a, that is a good point. Um, and a lot of people don't get that too. There are a lot of people who get into voiceover and maybe they'll book a role and they'll get like very like egotistical about it. And I, I don't I don't understand where it comes from because in this industry, I think you always have to be willing to learn something new. Like even oh, after yeah. doing this for 10 years or whatever, um, you know, I am always willing to admit that, yeah, somebody's better than me or that like a director no, knows better than I do for a, for a read because they just have an ear for it or they know something that I don't or they have a different perspective on it and you got to be willing to kind of like just be a sponge and soak up all of those things and you know not get hurt by it and not like lose hope over it or lose faith in your own ability um I mean uh it, there's so many different things people ask me how I became a voice actor if you I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this you know from my streams but I I literally I did so much. I took a ton of acting classes. I took voiceover classes specifically because I was a huge nerd that just loved anime. I loved Naruto. That was like literally the main reason why I wanted to be a voice actor because I loved watching yes. Naruto. Um, and I, I, that was all I ever asked my parents for. I would say, yeah, I want a microphone, mom, or like, yeah, for my birthday, maybe, uh, you know, I can do some chores and, you know, you guys can help me pay for some of these like voiceover classes just for like a day. And, you know, my parents were very, uh, very, uh, accepting of it and they motivated me and they said, yeah, like we, uh, you know, they didn't fully get it for a long time until I started like making yeah. a living off of it. Um, and then they're like, okay, like we, we understand, like, we're not going to try to push you to go like go do all this other stuff or go to college, uh, which, you know, was kind of like a thing still, even when I first started working in the industry, like they really yeah, wanted me to. In case it doesn't work out, maybe you should have that degree and be a doctor or ex something. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And um, it was it was tough for me because that was at the time where all of these opportunities were happening for me and I felt like I had like a window to kind of make them all happen. And I just told my parents, I said, yeah, just like, you know, give me a couple uh, years or just believe in me. And they're like, okay. Uh, okay, like just, yeah, just do it. And so they, they believed in me, but I wouldn't be here without them. So I was, I was yeah. blessed already to have like a supportive family that kind of wanted me to do this and encouraged me because they saw that this is like what made me happy and, and that I was getting like good reviews and stuff from my voice acting teachers. So they, 
they believed in me. Um, and not everybody's going to have that. But even after doing all yeah. of that stuff, I still went and I did a competition at an anime. Like, I, I took every opportunity I could to get my foot in the door. Taking classes, emailing casting directors. I made a demo. I sent that out. And then I went and won a voice acting competition at Anime Expo in 2014. So I did every single thing. And, you know, and one of them worked. So yeah. anybody else getting in the industry I'd rec or wanting to get in, I would recommend, uh, I'd recommend doing everything you can taking all those different paths and hopefully one of them works out for you. And I want to pull for another, I had to, oh, unfortunately, come on, please. Sorry. Give me the luck. I swear I'm going to, I probably will spend all my gems. So Chris, you got to tell me what was it like? when you got the audition for Ayato, did you know instantly that it was like from Genshin? Did you recognize like the art style? Did you know? Oh, like, yeah, a hundred percent. You knew it was. <laughs> but, it, it, but it's funny. Cause like, so it's code. I'm not going to give the give away the, the secrets or anything, but like it was code name. The code name. Like the, the character didn't have their, uh, you know, he, he wasn't called Kamisato Ayato. He was called something else. And the, the project was like project blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Whatever it was. Um, but like looking at it, I'm like, oh, okay, I know what this was. Cause it, it wasn't the first time that I had auditioned for a Genshin character. Cause like, um, I had also auditioned for, uh, for Ito. Uh, oh, right on. Back too. Um, Ito and Goro, I think both, if I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can't beatbox like Max Middleman can. No, I cannot. <laughs> I can't either. That it's so funny. They, they threw that in though, as like, a as a joke but it was a perfect line for it like it was amazing um so max is fantastic because he brings like 110 percent of himself to everything and it always works so beautifully yeah like, i i freaking love him he's great no um, he's all right but no, no like, i'm just kidding <laughs> oh wow all right i'm gonna text him right now and be like yo i'm gonna text him zach just said i'm gonna text him too and i'm gonna say <laughs> yo uh 1v1 me uh br is guardian Halo, get on now. Um, no, he, does, he, does he slay in Halo for real? Oh, I don't, I don't know if he plays like that often anymore. I should hit him up though. We got to play some Halo together. Get, did you get on uh, Infinite? Get the, yeah. Get it. Oh, okay. No, I'm really good. Like I will say Dude. that right now. Like I'm really good at that game. No, I, 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 I'm, I, I love shooters. I hate playing shooters online. Like I, I suck at <laughs> online shooters. I'm not, I, I don't have the Twitch control, like the, those, those Twitch fast rapid movements and stuff. I just want to play. I like Halo for the story, especially like Halo Infinite, the last one. The story was fantastic. Oh, other yeah. Than the, other than like the original Halo and Reach, it's like up there as one of my, the, like those two are my two favorites. And then this is like right up there as my favorite with them. Agreed. No, I, I love it. Absolutely. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, I knew, I, I knew what it was. And it's funny because like, um, I, I, I knew what I was auditioning for, but like I had my idea of what he should be and I sent it in and like, um, Faella like texted me after the fact and he was like, so everybody like kind of did something similar. You were like, um, you were like one of our tops though. Oh, come on, man. Got to keep pulling. Dude. I know. I'm just, I'm, I, I'm doing it randomly to see if it just like comes up. Oh my God. Another jumping. All right. Um, but, uh, but, uh, you know, he's like, no, they're looking for more like, like this, this is kind of what the thing. So can you get me another, uh, so was, I basically had a callback that he, <laughs> um, for Ayato and yeah. I did it. And, and honestly, honestly, I was like, it's, it's not going to happen. Nah, I'm not worried about it. So I just, I did what I thought I could do and sent it in and then it, it did happen surprisingly enough. That's great. But that's, that's how you have to approach it. And can you imagine like. I don't know, being a fan of something too, like a fan of Genshin or an anime or whatever it is you're auditioning for. And you're like, I want this so badly, but you have to approach it with that attitude. Like I want this, but I can't <laughs> expect this. So I got to so, send it into the void. I, I, I'm sure you've done the same exact thing, but I cannot tell you. It's so hard when you know what something is and you're a huge fan of it. Oh, I know. Yeah. I just like, auditioned for yourself like from it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It's impossible. Oh, yeah. 
I think I think we like I, I just auditioned for something like that um, back in the day. Um, a certain a certain game that got remade. I auditioned. Oh, you for okay? That. We'll talk about this later, maybe. Um, but like, <laughs> but like. Yeah. Uh, you know, like seeing like it was codenamed at the time and like, but I knew what it was. I was like, oh, yeah, God, man. Like, and so like, like detach, but it's so hard to detach yourself from stuff. Oh, like that. oh it's impossible. Yeah. Like it, it gets to a point where you have to just not be a giant nerd about it. But at the same time, you think about, oh, my gosh, like, could you imagine me like going up, shouting these words as this character from this game, like this game that I played a long time ago as a kid and. I, like i don't know it, yeah it's so so difficult um yeah it's so difficult i remember it's not it's not the same thing but like uh well it's kind of similar but it's like when they told me byleth was going to be in smash i legitimately freaked out like i played smash S smash brothers and halo like the two games that i played as a kid um yeah i i didn't have a gamecube right away one of my friends did and i would always go over to his to his house and that's all we would do his mom was super strict and wouldn't really she didn't want us playing video games for more than like 30 minutes or something and i would yeah. always play smash uh, uh like smash brothers melee and um and yeah we would always lie to her and say oh no we weren't playing video games she would go upstairs and then she would come back downstairs and we hear her we'd hear her footsteps like like coming down the stairs <laughs> and then we and then we would uh like turn off the tv and keep the gamecube running though so it wouldn't like disturb our match because yeah. she didn't know the difference between the gamecube being on or off or whatever um <laughs> but we would but do that and, and then we would just like twiddle our thumbs like you know like oh yeah we're just we're just like you know eight-year-olds uh doing whatever it is eight-year-olds do like not playing not not do not playing a board game we're just like talking. Oh, that's a, that's adorable. Yeah, and then this. she would be like, "Oh, okay. Well, you guys are doing. You guys aren't playing video games, so I'm oh. not mad. I'm gonna go back upstairs." I had no idea what she actually thought we were doing. Now I'm like, now that I think back to it, and then we would turn the TV back on and play more video games, and we're like, "Hell yeah!" I'm like, uh, and then he's like, "I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna destroy you with Doctor Mario." And I'm like, oh yeah, get a taste of my fox. <laughs> Falcon punch, Falcon punch, Falcon kick. <laughs> like I, I, used, I played Captain Falco just for the just for the simple fact that I could hear him do that every time. It made me happy. And then of course I'd play as Link, even though I sucked at him. But because like Legend of Zelda's. Oh, I it's, know. It's 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 the it's the series that's nearest and dearest to my heart. So. Oh, I love Zelda so much. Yeah, like it hurts my soul when uh when <laughs> those memes going around, or I forget who it was. It was like a video of somebody calling um somebody calling Link Zelda. <laughs> Have you seen those? Like I don't know yeah. what those are. There's like memes or it must be some old video or something. Every time yeah. I see like every every once in a blue moon that comes across my feed on Twitter, I'm like, oh no, please, like ah, this just like mm, it, it's so cringy and hurtful at the same time. I just I can't look at this right now. Um, it's so it's so funny. Like I I like I I encountered friends like that like through school and stuff, but my parents were never like that because honestly, my parents are the reason that I love Zelda so much. Yeah. Um, because that that's what we did when I was a kid, like. So I'm back in my day because I'm the old man here. Um, like I grew up when the I was a kid when the original NES came out, and my dad, being the guy who's like, I always want to have the newest, coolest technology. Oh snap! Come on, please! Come on. This is oh, it, baby! Oh, 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 oh! NES technology, let's go! Come on, come on, let's see it. What That's you get. what it is. Uh, come on, cycle faster. Give it. I'm clicking. Give him to me. Second, I don't. Second, second. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. What? No! Oh, disaster. Oh God! Disaster. Please, this is the this is the way. Of, the game is getting me back for pulling D Luke on that other person. They're like, you know what? We'll give you a D Luke too. 
This is so sad, dude. This is what you really wanted, right? This is, I did not, I do not want this man. I do not want this weird grown up man. I want the other one. I want the one who likes the boba. We want the water man, not the fire man. Exactly. Jesus. I want the. Please give me the boba water man. <laughs> the milk man. I hope that wasn't your 50 50. Like, oh. I so we will definitely get him now on this on the next one. I just, I just hope. Please just give him to me now. Please don't make me. Come please, on. Take why am I losing the fifty, dude? Why Hello? am I, why am I losing the fifty fifty on every single pull? I just want to get him already. Dude, come just, on. Just give him to me. Oh, so many sucrose. I. <laughs> come on. Look. Come on. Uh, uh, oh. Why have I? Come on. Just, You're not going to have any money left. It's not happening, dude. I cannot believe this. I spent <laughs> over... I spent... I'm not even joking. To, fi boxers. to fill up my Primo gems for this stream. I spent $220 on this. Oh, my God. $220, please. Come on. Have Come mercy. On. Jesus. Oh, no. Do no. I have to beg? Is that what ask. I have to do? Quick, get them on the get the get me Hoyo on the phone right now. Be like, I'm I'm guys. calling up my contact right now. What time is it in China? Hold on, <laughs> give me a sec. Give me a second. I'm texting somebody. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> even if I did, uh, they'd be like Zach, just just pay the money. They would the say just pay, they would say just pay the money. <laughs> All right, this is like the last one you can afford. So let's come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. Okay. There's still hope on the single pulls, everybody, right? Single pulls for the win. Yeah, uh, let's see what this happens. Is how we, this is what we got to do now. Come on. No, nope. not today. Nope. Come on, come on. Come home, baby. I can't believe I I wow. actually should have spent more money. Uh, I should have spent more money on this game. Oh, please. Oh, garbage. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. And you've only got one more after this. Oh, come on. Okay, the last no. pull. Last pull. Come on. If, come on, baby. If come there on. is any ounce of humanity I'm, out there, I'm, please. I'm placing my hands in the screen. The smallest, on, the smallest bit. Give me Ayato. Have him come home. I want come the on. man who produces an infinite amount of boba randomly <laughs> he makes it appear out of thin air he takes it from his coat please come on come on oh my no, no. just give him to me all right well wow. everybody um i mean do you have any can in the shop can you use some of your i your, think your I've, I've, for... i think i've used everything oh no let me check it out i'm pretty sure i did before oh. this uh yeah. oh wait no i oh, have hey. some of these Hey. Oh, these showed up because I was using the, uh, cause I was getting the uh, duplicates. So hold on a sec. We're saved everybody. Don't even worry about it. Stardust. Oh no, you can't your Stardust, but still. Okay. There's, there's another 10. Yeah. Yeah. We're saved. We we're good. All right. He's got to be in this one. Got to be in this one. Come on. on. Got to be. Got to be. Oh, come uh, on. Uh, no, oh. no. Your joke. This is the worst. These are the, this is the worst luck I've See, ever I had. You, I told you, man, I am like anti RNG. It's, it's, it's First, me. <laughs> I lose my voice, and now this. You lost the 50-50. <laughs> in both ways. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, man. Come on. Give me come the boba. Home. Give me the... Give, come on. Come on. Give me oh. my favorite... Or, give me the taro. The taro oh, milk tai tea. tea. Yeah, I love tai my Thai tea. My Thai oh, tea oh, right oh, there, baby. Oh, oh. Let's go. There he is. Ah! It's always the Thai tea. That's the good order. Also the Hokkaido milk tea. Baby, bring it in. Ayato. He's flushing he out all the boba. The tai tea. He he's, came home for the Thai tea. He's pulling it out. All the different flavors. Every kind of boba you could possibly think of. I am. You know what, everybody? I am going to open up my own boba shop. I've decided. Screw all this. Like, sure, buying a house is nice, right? Everyone's like all about home ownership and whatever nowadays. But you know what? That is a waste of money because over here, good luck buying a house for over a million dollars, uh, a little shack on the side of the road. 
Uh, Look, you could buy you could buy a, a place to have a business, a boba shop, and you could like live above the boba shop. I'm I just saying, live above it, dude. I'll live in it. I'll live. <laughs> I'll I'll pitch a tent every night in the middle of the floor. I'm opening up my boba shop. Hey, who here in the chat wants to come out here to L.A.? Okay, come out to uh, what do what do I call this thing? Um, um oh boy, I don't even I don't even know. Uh. The Windblade Boba. No, the, no. The, the uh, Boba? Boba Slayer. Boba Slayer. Boba Slayer. <laughs> Boba Slayer. Come on out to my new Boba shop, Boba Slayer, and slay that Boba. Get three uh, coupons. I'll give you the little punch cards. You can punch the cards, and I will give them to you. If you buy five Bobas, you get one Boba 10% uh, off. <laughs> that's how it works because look uh it's expensive out here and uncle sam ain't gonna be any nicer to uh to us um i cannot i i swear i feel like this took me to the edge of like the most i've ever had to spend on a character but it was worth it because he is the holder of the boba so that's right now, you, now you've got him, and now you can like idle animation him. I get to experience that boba every time I just see him pop out. I'm like, oh yeah. It's so funny because like, um, so his idle animation. Um, uh, so uh, we were in in the session, and like, Fiella was was very much there's the man, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh yeah, he's beautiful. He is. He is a sexy character. Um, but like, like, uh, they showed, they showed me his like idle animation with the boba and we were, and, and I, we were at talking like, so is, are they going to have like just a generic stock sound for him drinking or like, can we do something else? And he's like, dude, can you, do you have a cup? And like, so I, I had to like go, I found a cup and I put water in it and we recorded me actually doing the, the slurp and stuff. And he did, Philo was dying. He loved it. It was great. Um, and I, it, uh, from what I heard, it, it sounds like it actually made it into the game. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty funny. Dude, that's awesome. Like I, I love doing sounds like that. Um, uh, for near what I did is, uh, there was a dying sound where he like drowns and they actually put it in the game. So if he drowns in the game, there's a chance that you could hear this sound where I take water. Yeah. Uh, I go. <laughs> and it's awesome i remember we were just like joking around with it and and i did like the perfect take it sounded amazing i'm like oh my gosh like that that was beautiful and they're like okay we're gonna put it in um i love this i love this but it's in there uh let me uh, let me use some of his abilities let me hear your your beautiful voice i'm turning up my game volume i um i tried uh i did the trial with him already but oh man his his abilities are crazy i, I loved doing the trial it's cool that they always do this because then you can try out the character and just see like how strong you can actually like get them I, yeah it's so funny i kind of want to do it again but the fluidity of his movements it's just so satisfying uh yeah. to kill people or <laughs> like i don't know no do like it. like slimes just like the uh, uh that just feels so good like die yeah, well, it's, it's even better like once you think with the suyu and 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 leaving your leaving the, the shade behind if they hit it the explosion and then those constant like s strikes oh right i gotta get them to hit that Yeah, so like wh while you're there in the middle, see the explosion yeah. on top of it. Oh, I know. He's so. This guy's OP. Yeah, at night, at ninety, he's ridiculous. Like, uh, don't nerf. Do not <laughs> nerf. Do not nerf. What they need to do is uh, see. Well, what you need to do now is you're gonna need to spend another two hundred some odd dollars <laughs> so that you can see six him. Oh, I think that's going to be a lot more than $200. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be like another $2,000. Um, maybe if I'm lucky. Uh, I know. I need to. I do need to build him. I have to do some streams maybe. 
um anybody watching in the chat i don't know if you guys would ever be interested in me just like leveling characters and trying to build because that is something i i just got to sit down and do but so far i haven't really had a whole lot of time to do it you all know i'm traveling every weekend going to conventions i work all week um it's why i sound like this because i have pushed myself to the limit um when you go eight weeks in a row without a single day off uh and doing voices and voiceover uh <laughs> this is the result of that eventually yeah. you can only protect yourself so much and i feel like i i did really well too for eight weeks like to not lose my voice and i kept it going and like kept a youthful sound but now i'm uh, now you, instead of sounding like the 12 year old that you are, now you sound more like a 22 year old. It's I crazy. know it's weird. Like sounding my age. What? Hey, what's up dudes? How you, how you dudes doing today? <laughs> what up, bro? How do you do fellow children, fellow youths? <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's funny because a director told me something that was very, uh, comforting to me. Funny enough. They said, you know, because I told them, I, I sent a message. I said, I'm so sorry. I can't submit this audition right now because like, I just, I can't talk. Um, you know, can I get an extension? And they said, yeah, like, don't even worry about it. Just send it whenever you can. And they said these words. They said, you know, sometimes like our body has a weird way of telling us that we need to rest. And this is yeah. my body's way of saying like, you need to rest a little bit. Dude, you, I, I agree with your body because, like, you have, I, I <laughs> who know, are you I to tell me about my body? Look, look, I'm, I'm not saying I have examined your body <laughs> or anything like that. Um, <laughs> but I believe, listen to your body because, yeah, you should, you, I know that you have been going like nonstop and bless you for doing it, but take a breather, dude. Take a breather soon after this weekend i have a weekend off pretty much so i'm gonna be chilling yeah please just like sleep or something i know yeah that's Drink all a lot I've of been. tea and water and sleep that's what i've been trying to do um as much as i can nowadays um but yeah dude i am so happy that like you got to do this stream with me thank you for coming on i don't know if there's anything else you want to say to the people but i want to say thank you to you just for coming on and making time in your schedule to to do this and i hope you know that like you're more than welcome to i mean you know a lot of the you know i think a good majority of the other genshin cast members but you're welcome to do any of our stuff are, are you in that discord with us or are you in the genshin impact I'm discord uh, yeah you're I'm in this yours. one but like, uh i harlicker talked to me about um you know being sus with you guys and maybe, yeah. maybe that'll happen too oh my gosh uh, yes uh play games with us you are more than welcome <laughs> here you know what I, right now i am gonna invite you to uh to this genshin discord here Ooh, i'm there. one of the cool people now i just sent you an invite so this is where people they talk about like stuff um and then there's there's some other discords i think we have like sub discords for games and things and we'll, dude we'll get you in on all those if you're interested in in playing games because uh correct me if i'm wrong but you were like doing some streams and stuff too right at at a time do you do streams yeah i do i i'm not regular just because like my my only times really to stream have been i tried to do it every saturday but then i i um you know I, like started doing conventions again so my weekends got thrown off and then when i'd come back from a convention i'm like yeah you know i need to i want to spend time with the family yeah so, um, I'm like, it's in my, I, I can either stream or I can spend time with the family. And at that point, I'm like, all right, so the, we're going to go out and have make a day of it. Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. Well, dude, if you ever get some, like, if you're ever free, we should try to, like, coordinate something if we can, do some games. Um, there's, there's so much stuff I need to do with people. Like, I'd love to. I've been telling Xander uh, Mobus yeah. for, like, months now i'm like dude we like he keeps telling me like we need to build gundam models together and i'm like yes we do i need to find time to hang out with you dude i i know that's the <laughs> hardest part that's that's how it is with me too all my friends think i'm like i think everybody feels like i'm avoiding them or that i'm extremely introverted but i'm like guys like if you knew what i was doing every day all day like <laughs> i don't think you would think that but uh uh it's it's hard i know everybody's got such a wild schedule in this industry we're all working yeah. on different things but um 
yeah we well we got to figure something out either among us or you know maybe some roblox you like roblox oh yeah um, dude my kids my my kids play roblox oh well there you go <laughs> I see I, I you're already a pro like the gift cards we play for... some squid game yeah. roblox Oh no, she she does like so. My daughter does like the um, the uh, the restaurant ones, and she does like the ones that are like remakes of things. Like oh, it's like it's like Minecraft, and oh, it's like Five Nights at Freddy's, but in Roblox. Yeah, I watch her do watch her doing those. That things. would be fun, you know. That or you know maybe some maybe uh, crafting some mines or something. Oh, Who knows? Uh, yeah. I have played like actual Minecraft. I have played actual Minecraft for a total of like 30 minutes since the game came out. What like 15 that's, years? That's ago. perfect. That's all you need. That's I you're, don't, you're already I'm experienced. Not, I'm not a fan. I can't do it. <laughs> no, you can do it. Okay, no. we'll we'll figure out a we'll figure out a game. We'll figure all out right. a game. Um, I'll let you guys crush me. I'll get, I'll let like you and Max crush me in Halo. Yeah, we'll that's play what I'll Halo. do. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah dude thank you so much again for coming on the stream and guys if you if you would please be so kind go follow chris on twitter chris hackney ggk at chris hackney ggk um, it's the same on uh, instagram too same one the same on instagram chris hackney ggk everybody and just go give this man some love. A genu a genuine dude. Always been nice. Every time I ran into you at the studio, man, you've always been so kind and like oh, and and very oh, humble. Brother. And like I hear about it like throughout through the industry from other people, just like, you know, how humble you are and you know, I mean, you're like we're all just like you, you know, we feel the same way. Like just how I'm this just trying to make it. That's all this Exactly. Is. Yeah, we're all just doing our best at all at all times and that's all we can do and just kind of you know and then pray put that yeah. energy out and then pray yeah um, i want i want everybody to succeed because especially like everybody that i know in this industry because it's hard man and i know how much it sucks like when you don't get cast or when you you feel like you're being ignored or something and you, yeah i want i don't want anybody having that feeling i want everybody to be happy and do something they love Exactly. I, I don't know why I'm dying off. I'm, I'm jumping off the because cliff. Because it's funny. Like, wee! Dying here. I thought that I could Bye, jump on this little thing, but I guess I can't. Like, there's, It's not really there. Can you not climb this? Oh, geez. I guess you just go out of bounds. Um, wow. but yeah, I 100% agree. Everybody everybody deserves to uh, to make it and to at least have a fighting chance of uh, of making it. That's all we can ever ask for. Yeah, um, I'm, that's, that's, my, that's my only thing. Like, like with what we do specifically... I get that I'm not going to book every role. I get it. But at least if I got the opportunity, hey, I, I can't ask for more than that. And that's what I want for everybody too. Yeah. Like everybody gets a shot and hopefully hopefully the best person for the part gets it. So so that way it makes whatever product project it is the best it can be, you know? 100%. 100%. Um, dude, if you will give me just like a few minutes, I'm going to close out the stream. And then I would yeah. love to like talk, chat with you just a little bit more and then I'll let you go. Um, but so I will be right back. Uh, Chris, thank you so much again for coming on the stream. Everybody say goodbye. Okay. Every say goodbye, chat. Thanks for having me. Thanks guys. Hope you guys had fun with us being dumb. But we got him. We got him. We got him. We all got right. him. So it's all right. <laughs> My bank account. Um, <laughs> help me. <laughs> Please. Elsie, but now you've got to try and pull for the weapon too. Oh so. no. Oh. Don't hurt me like this. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. <laughs> okay, Chris. We'll talk in a few. Right. Thanks for coming, All man. Right. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for thank you guys so much for coming on the stream. Um ugh. Yes. Yes, my voice is dead. I did a lot of talking though still. I probably shouldn't have, but I did a lot of talking. I want to say thank you to all of those who super chatted. I'm going to read off some names, guys. Um, and thank you so much to everybody who I, I was seeing the super chats come in. Thank you for the well wishes. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you are going to Fan Expo Philadelphia, I will be there this weekend, okay? But here's the kicker. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to post it online soon. Unfortunately... <clears throat> 
I will only be there for Saturday and Sunday. So I will not be there Friday. Um, the reason is is because I need some time to recover and I have some recording that I miss because of my voice and I'm recording that at the end of the week. Uh, so yeah, I have to go on some you know, pretty decent vocal rest. I have been, you know, not, not working and not like screaming has helped me recover my voice a lot. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Uh, if you are going out to Fan Expo Philly, would love to see you this weekend. I will be there Saturday and Sunday. Please feel free to stop by, say hello. Um, Naomi Brunson, Emma, Neuro Evie, Scrambled Eggs, Not Sant, Justin Jones, Alyssa, Auxilium Plays, Jules Dropsify, thank you for 11 months, Kyrie X, Sora, Naomi Brunson again, Nova, uh, Ari Suja, thank you so much for the five months. It's so good to see all these familiar names, guys. Thank you for all your like love and support always. I, I, I cannot tell you how grateful I am for it. Uh, Sonic Boom, Emmy Hinote, uh, Mirnam, Allison A. Thank you. Oh my God. Jeez. Jesus. Thank you for the $50 for Ayato. Allison, I really appreciate that. Jessica, uh, thank you so much. Alec, Marcus Yamamoto, um, Alec again, Mackenzie McLean, thank you for the $10. Flip the switch. <laughs> Savannah's Life, thank you. Sky Productions. Uh, Snicks, Ashley Bell, uh, Dominique, uh, uh, Kramen, Ma Mavix, uh, CM001, Mackenzie McLean, again, MJ Magical Creatures, Hojin Yoon, uh, Codename Kath, Scott, Peanut, Alec, Kelly, Destroyed, welcome back for 11 months, um, <laughs> that guy's a troll. Uh, Nick M, Tommy Tran, uh, Cressa, Cynical Mystic Cosplay, Exilium Plays, Jet, uh, Takia Sawyers. Takia, thank you for the $30. And Jet, you, I'm almost to a full year of being an Airbud. Jet, it says you're at 12 months right now. So I think it's a year, Jet. You made it. Um, and Takia, thank you so much for the $30. Uh, I will have fun at all these conventions. I always have fun. It's great meeting you guys out there. Um, if you guys are interested to see where I'm going to conventions, check my Twitter, check my Instagram. I just posted a list of my currently announced conventions. Uh, that is just like what is currently announced. Uh, I still have a lot of other conventions in like other countries and, and whatnot. So trust me, there's going to be more. Um, so if you don't see an area on there near you, chances are uh, I just am not allowed to talk about it yet. Emmy Hinote, Alec, Tommy Tran, Michelle, uh, Natalie, Alec, uh, Suichi, Jessica, Maki, Lady Daniela, Poke Lover, uh, Floration, Doku, I only date 2D boys, Takia, uh, again, thank you for the earbuds, uh, the, the membership, all that cool stuff, Emi Hinote, Paksaj, uh, Poke Lover, Sunny M, Jacqueline, Helen, Auxilian Plays, Kai the Airbuds, Jessica, again, um, Aaliyah, Sky, and Toastiest Soul Dark. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Sorry, I haven't been streaming lately, but I have some fun ideas here that I'm going to try to, uh, and I'm going to try to do very soon. So keep a lookout. It's going to be awesome. You guys have no idea what's coming. Uh, Consumer of Teeth. Thank you. Niu. Hannah Brown. Um, Scrambled Eggs. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the stream. Thanks for coming out. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys again soon, I promise. Okay. Take care. Spread the love. And look at that beautiful transition. That, that thing never gets old. That thing is so cool. I love that transition. Chandler, thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to the Airbuds. Yes. And Fox Pup, uh, you know what he... Thank you. Welcome to the earbuds. Neuro EV. Okay. That is it. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good one. Uh, where's my... I don't know where my outro music is. Um, so I'll just do it myself. Ooh.